All right, hey, what's up, guys? Gratuitous from itsgratuitous.com. Continuing on with our M Audio Oxygen Pro setup and overview for FL Studio usage, okay? In this video, I want to talk about how to set up the keyboard for FL Studio and how to install that MIDI script. And I'm also going to talk to you about my premium add on, which you don't need, but it does just give you a little bit uh, better experience, such as being able to go through your banks, okay? So, for example, we have uh, knobs one to eight when you go to the next bank now you have another eight knobs another eight knobs another eight knobs and the same thing with the sliders okay so it goes from one to nine then you have you know another bank of nine another bank of nine okay and as you can see i also changed the colors so that you know that you are on a different bank and you don't have to do any figuring out okay so the first thing that you need to do to set up this midi keyboard is hold down the daw button okay now you want to select FL Studio, so uh, it's just FLST with a period, and you're going to push the knob, it's push to enter, okay? Then you want to go into preset mode and just leave it. And this is how you want to set up your keyboard, okay? So if you ever turn off the Oxygen Pro, which is awesome because it does have an on and off switch, not all MIDI keyboards do. So when you turn it off and then you turn it on, you might have to always select preset mode, okay? Preset mode just allows your knobs and your sliders to work properly inside of FL Studio. Um, you want your tempo sync to be external. If it's set as internal, your keyboard is going to be really buggy and intermittent when it comes to these tran transport buttons. But if it's set to external, you're going to be good to go. So if you're just using the free MIDI script, um, you can just uh, hold down or if I just press tempo sync, you can see it's external, which is good. You can hold it down to change it. Okay. Just so right now it's on clock, you just push that in. And if I go to internal, you're going to see that this is going to blink. Okay, so if it's blinking, that's not good. It's, it's set to internal. So you just put it to external and that's good. But again, my little add on template does all that stuff for you. So again, you just install it. Uh, all your all your sliders are set up, all your knobs are set up and you know, you're good to go. So that's it in terms of that kind of setup. Now I want to walk you through how to install the free MIDI script, okay? So the free MIDI script is available on the ImageLine forums. I will leave the link in the description. So make sure you download that. It will be in a zip file. And the installation process is the same for Windows and Mac, I believe. You're just going to go to Documents. You're going to go to ImageLine. You may have a data folder. Just click through into here. And you just go to FL Studio. You're going to go to Settings. You're going to go to hardware and now what you do is you have to extract it from the zip file so you just literally just drag the folder so the oxygen pro into hardware just we'll look inside there so this is a python script and it has to be labeled with device underscore and then i put oxygen pro for you know proper organization purposes and that's it it is installed okay so to close fl studio and reopen it and I like the keyboard shortcut, so I would hit F10, and there comes the, the settings. Or you can go to Options, MIDI Settings, and you can, as you can see, there's the keyboard shortcut, okay? Okay, so in your MIDI settings, in the input, the Oxygen Pro 49, make sure it is enabled, and it's on Generic Controller. It's the one at the very, very top, and that's what it should be by default. Don't worry about MIDI in 2 or MIDI in 4. We're going to go to MIDI in 3, and make sure it is enabled, and the controller type... With that MIDI script just installed into your hardware folder and you've closed FL Studio and reopened it, all your custom scripts are over here on the right. So just click the Oxygen Pro and it should work, okay? You don't have to worry about any ports. As you can see, this is my settings. Just close it and to make sure it is working, you can just hit the loop button, okay? And it switches from pattern to song mode. Again, you have your play, you have your pause. If you hit play again, you have stop. You have record and you also have forward a bar. If you're highlighted in the playlist, you go forward a bar and you can go back a bar. Okay. And that's it. So that is how you install the free MIDI script. Now I just want to walk you through how to install the premium template. This works for the 61. It works for the 49. It also works for the 25 and the mini. Uh, you'll see when you download the premium uh, template that I've included all the files there for you, okay? And if you have any questions, you guys can always send me an email at hi at itsgratuitous.com, okay? And so you just go file. You're going to go load preset. So we'll just select it right here. We will go open. 
Now I'm going to show you how to get it into your MIDI keyboard. Okay. So what we've done is we have loaded up the preset editor. Again, if you're using the 61, make sure to install the 61 preset editor. I'm on the 49. If you're on the 25, make sure to install the 25 preset editor. Okay. Whatever's pertaining to your MIDI keyboard. We went file, we went load preset and we loaded the preset in. Now we have to send that preset into the MIDI keyboard and we have to override one of the presets. Okay. So we're going to go file and we're going to go send preset. But in my case, I recommend preset one. It's just nice and fast. You don't have to scroll through. It's just going to be right there because if you're just using FL studio, this is how you're going to use the MIDI keyboard. Okay. So go preset one and then you just go send. Okay. It's going to send it into your MIDI keyboard. And so now with it sent into your MIDI keyboard, all you have to do is hold on preset. Okay. And as you can see mine, or you might not be able to see, but it says grat. And if we come down all the way to like, uh, so it's, it looks like it starts on preset nine. You can set it on nine, uh, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16 are all available presets for the user. Um, otherwise they have one set up for like hybrid and mini grand. So like these different plugins, but, um, I don't use, those VSTs that are like, so FL studio doesn't do like the auto map. I think you have to use like M audio special software to hook in, to be able to auto map. And my recommendation to you is if you are going to use plugins, it's always easiest just to like route the knobs yourself, which I'll show you in the next video, how to do what we've done is we have our preset editor. We went file, we went load preset, right? We found the preset and loaded it in. It should look like this. You want to send that preset and then again, you can select whatever you want. Again, it, like I said, at nine, you can overwrite uh, and this is like your own custom. So you're not overwriting any of their stuff from nine to 16, but I just went one just for convenience. You send it in and then now your MIDI keyboard has that, but you have to actually select it on the MIDI keyboard. And once you select it, you're set up. Okay. So you just hold on preset. Uh, in my case, I'm just, it says grat. So I'm just going to push to enter. And this is what it should look like. Okay. So a quick recap for you guys, in case we missed anything at the very, very beginning, when you get your keyboard, hold down DAW mode. Okay. You want to scroll this to FL studio and it says F L S T period. Okay. If you're just going to use the free MIDI script, you're also going to want to go to your tempo sync and set that to external and to install the free MIDI script. Again, that is on the image line forums. Uh, you just go to documents, image line, you're going to go to FL studio. You're going to go to settings. You're going to go to hardware, just drag the folder. So not the zip, you have to unzip it. So just drag the folder, the oxygen pro into hardware and it has device underscore oxygen pro. You can also open it up and I've left some information in there as well. Close FL studio, reopen FL studio, hit F10. Or again, go to options and then here's your MIDI settings. Don't worry about any of the ports or anything like that. You go to Oxygen Pro, enable generic controller, the MIDI 3 in or MIDI in 3. Uh, you enable it and you come up here and then your Oxygen Pro preset is in your custom scripts right there. Okay. Again, you can test by you by testing out the loop button. It should be working. Um, and that should be it for the for the free MIDI script. Again, your tempo sync, make sure it is external, not internal. You know, when you turn off and on the keyboard, uh, you do have to keep switching to preset mode, which is kind of annoying, but it's, it's a nice quick fix. It's nothing, you know, you just click preset because when you're in DAW mode, what happens is like, you can see that, um, you know, it makes, it's like making noises and stuff. So it's weird, right? So if you're in preset mode, everything is normal. Okay. So there's DAW mode and then preset mode, and you should have your orange pads. If you go to your different banks, it should just be like this. Okay. And so that's going to allow you to have different knobs on your different banks. Okay. And I will cover that in the next video. So if you have any questions or if I've lost you anywhere, again, you guys can always just leave a comment and I'll get back to you. Uh, but again, the oxygen pro has been an awesome MIDI keyboard for FL studio has great transport buttons, nice semi weighted keys. Uh, it does have sliders and knobs, uh, that work, but I don't use them too much. Okay, let's get into the next video where I'll just cover how to set up your knobs and sliders. Uh, they're essentially the same thing. All right, so if we're going to set up a knob, it's the same thing for a slider.